I am now going to read for you in the traditions um, pamphlet that you've been given. Uh, I'm going to read the National Day, the 17th of May, on page 116 through 117. And you can um, slow it down, speed it up, pause it, look up words, etc. Uh, and we can also read through it in class. Okay, National Day. Key words are a flag, a game, a parade, a tradition, national. Ola. In Norway, we're very proud of our national day. We're, we decorate our houses with red, white and blue colors. I celebrate the day with my family. We invite our relatives over and have ice cream and hot dogs. That's our tradition. Do you celebrate 17th of May? Jonas, yes, I celebrate with friends from Eritrea. We have good food, play music and dance. We also sing the Norwegian national anthem. Hassan, I have breakfast with friends from different countries. Some are from Norway and others are from Syria and Turkey. We raise the Norwegian flag at 8 a.m. The flag is red, white and blue. Together we watch the children's parade on television or TV. In the afternoon we play, no, in the afternoon we have a barbecue. My friends bring one dish each. Sita, we spend the day at our local school. The children play games and I sell cakes and waffles until about 5 p.m. It's a family celebration. Next page. On the next page, it says, let's talk. Answer the questions. Who eats ice cream and hot dogs on 17th of May? Who does Hassan celebrate with on 17th of May? Which song does Jonas sing on 17th of May? How do you celebrate the Norwegian National Day? Do you know how people celebrate national days in other countries? Why do you think we decorate houses with red, white and blue on 17th of May? I'm now going to translate these questions. The first question is Vem spiser iskrem or um, pölsa på 17 maj? Vem uh, feirer Hassan 17 maj sammen med? Vilken sang synger Jonas på 17 maj? Hvordan feirer nordmenn 17 maj? eller nationaldagen deras. Vet du hur folk feirar nationaldagen i andra land? Uh, vet du varför vi dekorerar husen med röd, vit och blå på 17 maj? Det var den texten. Uh, Pröv att finna de orden som du inte förstod. Pröv och uh, pronounce ordene, uttrykk ordene riktig, og så ta med resten på skolen. Og oversett de key ordene som du synes er vanskelig.